welcome YouTube friends and family to a very different edition of the Wellness Homesteader. So I am certainly no makeup guru, <laughs> and I'll tell you in a minute what we're going to be talking about, but I can't find the comment again. Someone asked me about what kind of brush you use with a liquid foundation. So this is a, a foundation type brush. I have a whole set. Um, it's Lime Life by Alcon. Um, this was a gift from my mother when she was living, and I find them to be excellent brushes. So you, I don't have a distributor. Uh, it's kind of like an MLM, just to be honest. They sell a bunch of different types of makeup, and they're really well known for their brushes, but I love their brushes. But I also sometimes just use, this is my favorite eyeshadow brush that I think I got in like a BoxyCharm box. <laughs> I use a little bit of everything, but these are high quality brushes. So, got that taken care of. Um, in fact, let me turn the camera around. I'll give you a pan of the brushes I use. What I've found, because I don't like to wear super heavy makeup, but I need a little. <laughs> uh, brushes give me a little bit more control. You know, just putting things on your fingers makeup wise. Um, you don't get such an even application and you can also get heavy and light spots. Okay, let me show you the brush. So, this is a vintage head vase. So I keep a few in there because I have some duplicates. And I actually have the holder and you can see the yellow and green ones are a different brand as is the blue one. And my little vintage teal color poodle as well. I have a whole collection of those. I'll have to show them sometime. But yeah, that's how I apply my makeup on the daily. So before we get into today's topic, which is alluded to in the um, title <laughs> in the description box, you know, I got to quit making videos so early. I'm, I'm not even sure what time it is. It's probably like 5 a.m., something like that. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I hope that you all have stayed safe. Most of the hurricane heavy rains and storms, although we were under tornado watch, were um, well north of me up on Lake Erie. Looks like Michigan got pretty pounded as well. So far today, I've had, pardon me for hiccuping y'all, <laughs> that'll never go away, three quarters of an inch is what I got of rain, which is desperately needed and we're gonna have a little bit more this morning but it's pretty much rotated up north of me so I'm probably okay so what are we gonna talk about today you know I debated long and hard and I also prayed on this before I decided I was gonna bring this video but there's a reason I want to do it <sighs> and again if you're new to my channel I am not a makeup artist by any means I use the color science and color medium because it's 50 SPF. I have enough age spots and wrinkles. I don't need more. So this is a cautionary tale about adhering to things that YouTubers say that may be very misinformed or not educated about what they're doing. And being diabetic myself, I'm a nurse, but I'm always looking for um, ideas, you know, recipes, ways to, um, you know, adhere to a diet, not feel deprived, or take a regular recipe and modify it. I love things like that. I'm also a person that absolutely loves a good success story. So that is how I happened into this whole girl world thing. <laughs> now, this is traditionally, I knew nothing about it. Um, this is traditionally a group of overweight ladies who want to get healthy, lose weight, exercise, modify their diet. I mean, who, well, I enjoy things like that. I like things with a happy ending. So I quite by accident, happened on to a channel of a lady who um, claims to weigh about 350, and she's about my height, so she's short. 
Um, and I'm not here to body shame, to fat shame, to anything shame. Well, little did I know, this particular person um, is a recent, she's Canadian, but she moved to Kuwait and she is now a Muslim revert, which just means she converted. So she wears the hijab, you know, the head covering the whole business. Well, I think the hijab is the head covering and I don't mean to be insulting to anyone. I, I just am not super educated on what the garments are called. Um, anyway, <sighs> there are, there is a whole genre on YouTube. Didn't know this. I don't have cable. I don't watch network TV. So I do watch a lot of YouTube. If I'm going to watch something, it's usually something on YouTube. And I like to learn. I love anything historical or how it's made. <laughs> I love to watch the food ones, how it's made. But at any rate. So um, I happened on to a whole group by searching the channel's name. And her, her channel's name, I'm going to tell you what it is. But I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. <laughs> and why I wouldn't encourage you to watch it. It is not my cup of tea. But um it was at one point I wanted her to succeed. Uh, her name is Foodie Beauty, or her channel name, and her real name is Chantal. Um, I believe she's French-Canadian. You know, she speaks perfect English, but she had recently been diagnosed with diabetes, much like myself, and I'll say oral control or type 2, so she wasn't on insulin. And I wanted to see her succeed. I really did. But what I quickly realized is she has a food addiction problem, which she states, I'm not shaming her, outing her. And she goes into rages and swears, and I don't recommend you watch her channel. It's not uplifting at all. That said, I've watched a few reaction channels. Um, one of the ones I really like is Sansa Cooks because she will take a meal and do the macros. So how much protein, how many carbs, how much fat, how many sugars, how much sodium, which is really important for a person like me. So it has made me more aware because I don't eat out much. But if I stop and get something fast food, I am going to have elevated sugars and water retention the next day because when I cook homegrown homemade foods, I don't add a bunch of salt and sugar. Okay, so recently, and it was all over my feed, you know, once you watch something, YouTube's like, I saw you, <laughs> I knew you were watching. She actually kind of disappeared. I kind of forgot about it, you know, didn't think a whole lot about it. But I did notice that the reaction channels were commenting on where was she? Was she in the hospital? And the last video she had put up, which I saw snippets of, um, didn't have any swearing or anything in it. Um, as a nurse, as a clinician, I could totally look at her and say, she's in kidney failure. She's probably so hyperglycemic that she's, you know, almost ketoacidotic. So that just means if you have no insulin in your body, your body will break down your actual fat, etc., into ketones, which in high levels can be toxic, can cause renal failure, on and on. It's a vicious, vicious, vicious cycle. I was extremely concerned. Um, I have commented on her channel before, before I found out that she was Sweary McSwearington. <laughs> and she blocked me. So, um, and I don't know, whatever. I, I don't care about that. Um, I was some. I wasn't critical or anything. I suggested that she get um, some measuring cups because her portion was way, way off. What like she would say, I only have half a cup of rice, and it would be like three cups, you know, kind of a thing. Anyway, and I also suggested that she look for some resources on diabetic education because I could tell by her diet. So she is a mukbanger or was a mukbanger. A mukbanger is someone, it was originally an Asian type thing, but it's people who eat humongous quantities of food. I, I can't stand eating noises and I don't want to watch somebody eat because it might make me hungry. And this girl's always hungry. But I could tell by even just the titles of her videos and how much quantity was in front of her. 
I thought, you know, she's really into trouble. So she had had a major problem about a month ago with her kidneys. Um, and I think, you know, she's not dumb. I'm not trying to say that, but I think she does have a knowledge deficit. That's a nursing diagnosis, by the way, on diabetes, on kidney function, on a few things. So things that she thought were healthy were not healthy. So that guys is part of why this video is entitled reaction channels a cautionary tale because there are really great reaction channels that can like sansa cooks that can give you valuable information and they're not on there to fat shame or to um be vile and hateful because some of them are really bad really really bad um and you can learn something that might be helpful in your own health journey. So, long story short, Chantel disappeared after that last video I told you about where she just looked so bad. I knew that she was in health trouble. So what happened? I want you to stay tuned and I'll share a little bit more. Right, Y'all, you may notice I've got the wowza wowza woo tablecloth on. Oddly enough, it's a tiny bit shy, but it still has Frankie fringe on it. <laughs> so you can still play with the fringe and it matches my um, picture and glasses, my vintage set. Guys, I'm sorry, this thing just fell down again. Uh, come on with it. <laughs> Hold on guys. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. We're good. <laughs> so, anyway, back to the story. If you all were on my live, I've apologized. I've done everything I can. It certainly wasn't anything I could do anything about at the time it was happening. Um, I did a live, and I had 238 people on there many of which spoke Spanish, but it just went totally off the rails. Since then, guys, I've noticed a couple things that are concerning to me. One is I'm getting messages from people who say, I just resubscribed and I didn't unsubscribe. So if you are subscribed, do me a big favor and just double check to make sure you're still subscribed and your notifications are on if you like that. Um, that would be a great help to me. But I've also started having a lot of really nasty McNasterson comments, y'all. Um, and I can say, oh, it doesn't bother me. I don't believe what they say. Um, and that's, that's true to a degree, but it's really, it makes me feel downtrodden. It makes me wonder what I'm doing wrong, but I have so many great subscribers. And, and you guys, if, if you have a constructive criticism, give it to me. I don't care about that. If you're going to attack me personally and say, you're fat. <laughs> okay. I, I claim chubby, but I'm really not fat. Um, do you have any teeth? That's, that's always been my favorite comment. Cause you know, I've had a lot of dental work and from time to time I've had some teeth that are missing that I've gotten implants. Um, the latest comment I got was, why do YouTubers feel they must show their face when it's an instructional video? Well, y'all, I don't think just talking hands makes for a good video. This isn't about looking at me at all. I, mm -mm. So, you know, that one kind of smarted <laughs> a little bit. So when somebody, and that was the only comment the person had ever made on my channel. So um, normally I just block them, delete the comment, and sometimes I report it, depending on, you know, what the comment is. Uh, I try not to bite back because, y'all, it doesn't do any good. They're hoping to get a reaction out of you, so saying nothing is really the best deal if you're on YouTube. That That's my opinion anyway, but it gets hard, you know, not to say anything. So back to Chantel and her health arc, and I, I've learned a new word, so when people go on, like, a new area of focus on their channel. It's an ARC, A-R-C. Never heard of that before, but you know, I'm old. <laughs> so, um, 
Miss Foodie Beauty is back. And I was actually really glad to see her. Um, it came up in my suggested again. And I decided to go ahead and watch it. And y'all, I think my ears were bleeding by the end of it. <sighs> you want to talk about swearing, good grief, and just attacking people. I mean, it, that was pretty nasty. My interest, she did two videos. The first one wasn't as bad as far as raging as the second one. My interest was to see, were my diagnosis skills right? Is she on a better path? So she was hospitalized. She had some insulin, IV insulin. They sent her home on insulin, which brings us to the second video. So this is why I want to tell you all, be it's a cautionary tale, number one, if you don't want your ears to bleed, to watch certain channels and also reaction channels. Most of them are not they're monetized but their content gets demonetized because they talk nasty and, and they're kind of bullying type thing which i don't enjoy at all i'm looking for success stories or good ideas well i learned a long time ago um chantal is definitely in denial about her disease process and after her first crash and burn she immediately went, well, not immediately, like within a week, she was right back to doing mukbangs, eating fast food, eating huge quantities of food, like a whole large pizza. Yeah. And I thought it's only a matter of time. And I don't want to see anyone die, but I'm blocked and I couldn't comment if I wanted to. And when people in her comments, because she usually goes live, would suggest to her things that were helpful, not necessarily critical, she would block them. And, you know, if that makes you feel powerful, well, whatever. I've blocked very few people in the four years I've, almost four years I've been on YouTube. I can probably count on one hand how many people I've had to block for profanity, um, just being nasty. You know, it's just, um, yeah, I don't need that on my channel either. So, cautionary tale, because she eats. Now, she's not mukbang, so she's not eating a huge quantity of food. She made some lentil soup. She had a piece of bread with two pretty good sized pieces of cheese. And then as the video goes on, admits that she's had two peaches. So y'all, if you are diabetic, be very careful about what you watch. It's very clear to me, one of the things that has been ordered for Chantal is diabetic education. And she needs that so much because she thinks if food is home cooked, it's fine and there aren't any real limits, and she doesn't measure. If you eat out, you need to order healthy. Well, she doesn't have a good concept of how many carbohydrates are in things. So for most diabetics, myself included, the recommended amount of carbs per meal is 35 to 45 grams. So let me just give you an example. She was eating a donut peach. You know, they look, they're like a smashy peach. And she admits to eating two and decides, I didn't watch the whole video. Before the end, she's going to eat a third. But anyway, she takes her insulin, which is a long-acting insulin, and she's eating the peach. Well, she, she admits to two, which actually is 24 grams of carbs. So with the lentils, with the bread, um she's probably way over what should be 35 because she has blood sugars up in the 400s. Our blood sugar should be below 100. That's always my goal. Mine was 88 this morning and I'm not really sure why, but I'll take it. I mean, it was accurate, but I'll take it. So she doesn't have a clear idea. The other thing that was quite upsetting to me is she didn't have an insulin pin. So as people are getting adjusted to what dose they need to take, what type of insulin, so they're short acting, medium acting, long acting. She's taking Lantus, which is a long acting. It's going to take effect within one and a half to two hours. And she does such long live streams, like three hour live streams after you eat. And it lasts 24 hours, so it's once a day. She's on a very small dose. Well, she takes her insulin, but she has no concept of how to draw it up. 
She doesn't inject the air into the vial. Guys, those are vacuumed. And if you, you however much you're gonna pull out, you gotta put it in the air or else the um, vacuum in the vial would just continuously <laughs> suck your dose back in. So I'm assuming she got the right dose, I don't know. She had no concept of how to uncap the plunger end of the syringe. And it just, it was really scary to me because as she kept talking, she was saying, well, the doctor said if my sugar's still high, just take a little more insulin. That is playing with fire. You cannot um, out-medicate a bad diabetic diet. You just can't do it. So am I talking bad about her? I don't mean to be. I, I just wanna say this, guys. Even if it's stuff on my channel, do your own research. Be very careful about following what people say. She was on or is on metformin, which is what I was taking. It's an oral pill. I couldn't tolerate the gastric side effects either. But let me tell you, um, she was just taking more and more and more, which partly caused her kidneys to start failing. And she had a kidney infection too, but her kidneys were failing. So y'all just be super, super careful <laughs> and make your healthcare provider in the know about everything. If you see something and you wanna know more about it, maybe some of the new um, Ozempic or Trulicity like I was taking and probably on my way to taking again <laughs> just because I've, I've had a little trouble with my blood sugar lately. Um, and I can't tolerate the metformin, so I am straight up just diet control right now. But keep your doc in the loop. And there are always great educational materials in two places. So whatever disease you have, like the American Diabetes Association, I'm sure every country has good education and their own version of that. Now, I don't know about Kuwait. And I think one of the barriers for Chantelle is she does not speak the language. So it's hard for her to understand something that's written like that. Um, but I'm hoping they can provide her that information in English or in a way that she can understand. One thing that really concerns me is she has to schedule her education and she hasn't done that yet. So I don't know if she will or won't. If she would, it would really, really help her. Um, during the video, she sits at a table and then puts a tray that's like up to here to do her eating and such, which is fine. You know, whatever works. I sat at my table too. Um, she turned the camera around and showed the mess that was on her table and she had juice. Y'all, diabetics can't normally ask your physician. Shouldn't be drinking juice. It, it will just spike your blood sugar. Now she didn't admit to drinking juice, but why was it on her table where she sits and eats all the time? I don't know. You know, I don't want to accuse her of anything. This is not meant to, you know, belittle her. So stay in touch with your physician. Be very mindful of both a reaction channel, which is a whole genre on YouTube, as well as, um, people who are not medical professionals, their journey, what their physician advice was, they may not have gotten it right. They may not have fully understood it. Um, and, and I'm not saying that she's lying. I, I think she can't, I think she has a knowledge deficit and she does not understand the relationship. So towards the end of the video, and I, I never watched the whole thing, she rechecks her blood sugar and it's probably been about an hour and a half or so. So her insulin should be working and her blood sugar, guys, there's two ways to measure blood sugar. MMOLs is how um, like Canada and a lot of foreign countries do it. And then here in the States, we use a totally different measurement. Um, uh, I forget the unit. It might be milliliters or deliliters. I can't remember. So her blood sugar may say it's, okay, a normal blood sugar would be a five in the European standard. For me, a normal blood sugar would, that would be about 80 or in the 80s. Um, her blood sugars have been like 22, which is over the 400 range. So now she's not showing the results, which, you know, it's, it's personal. And I don't know why she puts herself out there like that. I wouldn't, I'd just be on my journey 
and let people see the outcome. But everybody's a little different, you know, and she, she's a vlogger and she's younger. She's 40. So, you know, that may be why her blood sugar actually went up. So I'll give it in U.S. terms, about 50. So that tells me the Lantus dose, her insulin dose was way too small. Um, she may not have drawn it up properly. And she ate way too many carbs and it can't control and get her blood sugar down. So y'all just be careful out there. Um, I love to learn. I love to watch educational channels. I mentioned one. Um, there's actually another one that I wa have watched that is a uh, nurse for many years. She's in school to become a geriatric nurse practitioner with a focus in psych. Her channel is Life and Vibe. Now, she is a reaction channel, but within her videos, she does give a medical sort of view to a lot of things. And I had thought about um, doing a collab with her. What I don't want to happen is I don't want to be drawn into the reaction channel world and be thought of as, sorry y'all, the neighbors turn on their porch light, um, someone who's negative and hateful because that's not my, my goal at all. So I know this was a little bit different video. I told you there'd be a lot of chitty chatty videos. A little update on the fridge. Got it all cleaned out. Philco running strong after 73 years. Um, I'm not in dire straits to get a new fridge. I will. I have some guests coming tomorrow. So today is going to be full on house keeping all day. Yesterday I managed to get the weeding done with my friend. Oh, thank you, Danette, for helping me. I would have never made it through without you. We both got pretty pooped. It was extraordinarily humid. It wasn't so much that it was hot. It was just hard to breathe. And we were so filthy by the end. It was, I mean, we had to take a hose bath before we came back inside. So thank you, my dear. You didn't have to do it, but I'm glad you did. So I've got the outside set for company. And I just want to work a little bit on my inside. My house generally is not messy, but it gets pretty cat hairy, you know, with Frankie. So I've got a little bit of work to do. I also want to finish up this video with a really quick product review. Y'all, I don't do a lot of product reviews anymore. And believe me, I get emails from, I've probably had 15 in the last week for things like, you know, play animals and just weird stuff that I have no interest in. But this was one that intrigued me. So stay tuned. We'll do an unboxing. I'll share a little bit about the product. All right, y'all. I know the cat's on the kitchen <laughs> counter. I haven't cleaned the kitchen yet this morning or made breakfast, so it'll get disinfected. No worries. So the product I'm going to review here is Utes Silicone Utensil Set. So... A lot of you may use non-stick cookware. I, I, I don't really have any non-stick cookware. I think I have one pan. I use um, enamel coated cast iron. However, you really should not be using metal utensils with enamel coated cast iron because over time it will absolutely scratch. So this company reached out to me and it's U-Taste. If I didn't say that already, I might have chatty cam. Um, and they wanted to, me to review this product. And I was like, well, I need to go read reviews. I'm sorry, Frankie's like, he's just seemed that for you? Huh, buddy, you say hi to the peoples? Yeah, but you know that box is too little for you, big butt. <laughs> he says, no, it's not. I need some good silicone utensils. So this was a matter of need, but I wanted to check out the reviews. So, this is made of, it comes with a ladle, a spoon, a slotted spoon, a slotted flipper, and a regular flipper. I know, spat, spatula? No, that's not a spatula. Well, whatever these things are called. <laughs> Turner. <laughs> I'm terrible. Oh, Lordy. This is made of high-grade silicone, food grades. High-grade, food-grade silicone. I'll get it out. So there's no chipping, peeling, um... 
The other problem that I've often had with silicone utensils, I probably shouldn't be buying them from the dollar store, is you don't know what material they're really made of, if they're BPA free, you know, are they, are they safe? And I've had many that will start to melt, deteriorate, like on the, the turner, I guess this is, is this a spatula, y'all, you all tell me. Um, right here on the edge, it'll start to disintegrate and you're eating silicone. I don't wanna be eating silicone or plastic or whatsoever it is. The other thing is a lot of times the handles are so flimsy that the first time you try to flip like a hamburger, they're gonna break. I love how, and I'd already looked at these guys, but I wanted to unbox it and show you how it, how it came. The handle is so sturdy. And that's one of the things that people really liked about it was that it's not going to go hmm, on you. I like the ladle as well. I make a lot of soup. Um, it's in one of my most favorite colors. It matches the Philco. So I highly recommend you give it a try. It has very high ratings on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description box. Now you need to use that link to get the best price. Um, I don't get anything in return for sharing this product. I did receive this at, at no cost. And uh, I greatly appreciate you taste allowing me to review these and I'm going to get them washed and put them in daily use. I'm gonna make some breakfast and I'm gonna use it. So I am basing my review off other folks' reviews, but I can just tell you by the level of sturdiness and the fact that it is you know, a high quality food grade silicone. That makes me feel a little more comfortable using a product like this. And it's gonna save my pots and pans. So y'all, I hope you've enjoyed today. I know it's been a very different type of content. And like I said, I debated, I prayed, because I don't wanna come off like I'm criticizing a YouTuber or a reaction channel. Um, I think it's everybody's personal choice who they want to watch. I just became very concerned when I saw the knowledge deficit about diabetes, and it makes me fearful that someone may think that, oh, well, I'm on insulin too. I'll just up my dose, go into um, a hypoglycemic coma, and die. I don't want anything bad to happen to anyone based on following advice that may or may not be correct or may be correct for that person, but not correct for you. So I hope that kind of clears it up. Leave me a comment in the description box below. Uh, what would you like to see coming up, guys? Guess what I'm getting, hold on. I'm not exactly dressed up, y'all, because I'm planning on sweating a lot today, so please excuse. Yellow tomato and a red one. So, I may have an egg and tomato sandwich for breakfast or just a tomato sandwich. So, you know, gotta count my um, carbs for the bread. I do use <sighs> a lot of times a store-bought, uh, you know, the Dave's seed bread in the thin sliced. And sometimes I just do open face because guys, I'm gonna tell you, it's hard for me to stay under 35 carbs. I also wanted to share just really quick, one more thing. Yeah. <sighs> You need to avoid, most diabetics need to avoid concentrated sweets, so table sugar or heavy fruit sugar. It, it will spike your blood sugar. And if you're trying to keep things at an even level so that you don't develop complications down the road with your eyes, with your kidneys, all the things, with your circulation, just for fun, I looked up Pop-Tarts. Now y'all know, I've told you before, I was raised on Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Love me some Pop-Tarts. You know how many carbs there are in one Pop-Tart? 76. So that is, if you're at the 35 grams of carbs per meal, you're, you've already more than doubled your carbs for your meal. So those are things that you can speak with your physician about. And if you really want a treat, um, I'm a big liquid consumer, but I don't like consuming my calories in liquid. So the Jordan's sugar-free syrups have solved my craving, if you will, where I occasionally want something sweet. Thank the Lord I don't like chocolate. I do miss ice cream, but it's okay. I can I can deal. So I will see you all. Wait, what is today? 
Okay, today's Wednesday. I'll see you by the weekend. We'll be doing something a little more active than me just chitty chatting. I'm trying to get my back healed. And y'all, praise the Lord, it's a little better today. A lot of times, as soon as my feet hit that floor, whoo wee, and I put my excessive weight on my feet, it really hurts. So I've kind of been back on watching my weight because it was creep. Well, I was watching it go up. Now I'm watching it go back down. And I'm just really focused on being as healthy as I can be and, you know, keeping my physician in the loop about things that are going well as well as things that aren't going well. So I will see you all very soon. But until then, smash that like button on the way out. Leave me a comment of some upcoming content you would like to see and be healthy, be well, be blessed and take care.